everybody. Today I want to share with you a story about the Japanese Kutsugi vase that I saw in Unity magazine. The first time I saw a Japanese Kintsugi vase in an online art room, I was convinced I already understood that healing was an art. It was unique and beautiful, like other pieces of fine art that speak to the soul. But this face got my attention because it obviously been broken before the pieces were rejoined with gold bonding. At first, I wondered why the artist hadn't repaired the scars in a way that made them less noticeable. Perhaps with the clear glue. Then I realized all the gold scars made the vase more distinctive and valuable than had been before was broken and reassembled. This new vase, a much more elevated version of the original, owed its beauty entirely to its scars. The vessel was not beautiful merely in spite of those imperfections. This vase seemed to be telling me that I could be a full, whole human being again. I could heal, put myself back together again. It was my choice. My scars were my wings. I wanted to understand Kintsugi at a deeper level. So I went in search of Kintsugi artist and I found Katie C, a Kintsugi artist and counselor. She had me pick two vases and break them. One broke more cleanly than the other. It was decided I'd repair that one. I felt prickles of anxiety and said, I'm not an artist. Can't I just watch you? Katie smiled and said the art is in the creation. This is your art to make. Art is for capturing your meaning, your ideas, and your dreams. Part of me wanted to refuse, but I had realized that in order to benefit from Kintsugi, I would have to do it myself. What do I do first? I asked. Katie suggested I prepare the shards by cleaning them, observing them as puzzle pieces as opposed to broken pieces. She suggested I touch the pieces and explore their beauty shapes, texture, and size. Katie kept telling me how beautiful the pieces were. I found it fascinating that brokenness was beautiful to her. As I considered this, my mindset shifted. These were pieces of a puzzle, not symbols of brokenness. I began gingerly cleaning the pieces and with caution, moving the sharp bits of pottery around on the table. My courage began to grow with Katie's encouragement. I slowly felt capable and in control. In the space of a few minutes, I found that my courage had eclipsed my fear. Then came another surprise. I learned that the order that I placed the pieces onto the intact part of the vase had to be perfect since the gold liqueur dries quickly. I had to consider which pieces were the critical few to make the vase whole again. I pondered that the artistic process required making decisions that would ensure the best healing. I immediately understood that this art of healing included making informed choices. I needed to connect with, collaborate with, and learn from Katie. I didn't have all the answers. I needed to understand which pieces would provide integrity to the vase. 
So it could be, be once again used for its original purpose, to hold water and flowers. If there were a piece missing, I needed to prepare a binding agent to fill the space. It was thought-provoking. I began gently placing the large and small pieces together to try and find the central piece, the piece that most influenced the strength of the vase, and the place where other pieces would fit. I felt inspired and almost lightheaded. I had no fear, just excitement about the art of healing. Beginning with the central piece, I traced the thinnest lines of lacquer on the broken edges, caressing each scar with gold. Each scar was beautiful and held its own story as part of the whole vase. I carefully embraced each one and now felt proud of the scars rather than shamed by them. Finally, I observed the beauty of my golden joined face. I felt a surge of energy where fear had existed before I started. I had created a masterpiece from something quite broken. Its scars were strong and golden. It looked as if light was shining through the spaces between the broken pieces, shining through the scars. I shared with her how I felt and celebrate the flow of transforming fear to light. Looking at that Kintsugi vase I made, I also saw myself. I could see myself as a better person because of my scars. I no longer had to hide them or be ashamed by them. My light could continue to shine through my darkness. Through, my light could continue to shine through my brokenness. So that was adapted from the Art of Scars by Katie Hagler in the July-August 2022 issue of U Unity Magazine. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I was so moved when I first read that story. And today it's still moving. And with everything that's going on in the world and even in my own personal life, I find that I do so much better. When I think of the pain as something that's helping me have a wonderful vision that I can share with the world and help the world become the place it was meant to be. And I could share some of the things I've learned with you, but I think on my, I think on my end, you know, everything was just words until you'll go through some of it yourself, so. I invite you to just learn to sit with your thoughts and your feelings and figure out what your experiences are teaching you. It's in our brokenness that we become beautiful. Thank you.